life has no agenda. It's for you to be a full-fledged life. A grasshopper is trying to be a full-fledged grasshopper, earthworm is trying to be a full-fledged earthworm, a bird is trying to be a full-fledged bird, a tree is trying to be a full-fledged tree. A human being should strive to become a full-fledged human being. These are all our businesses. But each one of us start creating our own agendas and doing all kinds of things. No, no, you're just a piece of life, don't take yourself too seriously. What you call as life is a brief sparkle. The only thing that you have to do is rise and sparkle as a full-fledged life. When something is needed around us, we will do that naturally because when you're doing wonderfully well, you will do what is needed, isn't it? When you're miserable, you will be motivated. Yes? Tell me, when you're very happy, have you looked at yourself? How nice and wonderful you are, you're willing to do anything for anybody, you bend backwards if necessary, yes or no? When you're little frustrated, woo, <laughs> how difficult it is. So, don't teach your children to become motivated about something. These are all nonsense. Motivate yourself, build confidence, believe in yourself. You believed in God and destroyed so much of this world. Now you believe in yourself, what will you do? <laughs> You don't have to be motivated, you just have to see how this is alive to its fullest possible level right now. If it's fully alive, it will do everything that it can do, isn't it? What it cannot do, anyway it will not do. Twenty-four hours feel like ten thousand years, yes or no? People created this culture, uh, what is that, uh, thank God it's Friday. The statistics show that seventy percent of the Americans hate their jobs, not dislike, hate. Five days if you do something that you hate, I don't know how you enjoy the weekend. All that happens in the weekend is, you're knocked out. Seventy percent of the people hate their jobs. How do you live like this? Why the hell are you doing something that you hate? First of all, if you don't love doing what you're doing, you shouldn't do it, always somebody will do it. Hey man, you're suffering so much, what is the point? At least if you're fired, you can walk on the beach, huh? <laughs> Maybe somebody else will do this job little more joyfully than you. You think you're spinning the planet or what? Hello? What is the hardship? Are you spinning the planet or are you pushing it around the sun? Everything is free, isn't it? <laughs> Hello? Everything is free. All you have to do is be a full-fledged life. Don't constipate yourself with too many ideas, philosophies, belief systems, stupid thoughts and emotions with which you get constipated and become less than who you are. No, you should not ever be less than what you can be, isn't it? You don't have to be as good as somebody else and you can never be because everybody is different. But you should not be less than what you can be. So you don't need motivation for this, you need aliveness. At twenty-five, if you're not very alive, you need some cranking. So a wife sent a telegram to her husband who was in a three-month training. Hi, yes, you know. She sent a telegram. Start worrying, rest will follow in a letter. <laughs> Don't do this to yourself. <laughs> At twenty-five you start worrying, rest will follow. <laughs> <laughs>